Are you curious as to just how much a 2023 Volvo XC60 can handle? What's the cargo capacity like? Is it good for daily use? Is it good for road trips? Is it functional for family? Stick around, we're gonna find out. As you're watching this video, I encourage you to comment your thoughts. Let me know what you think of this vehicle, of this video demonstrating the cargo capacity with the car seat installation and showing the ease of getting in and out of the vehicle with a car seat. Comment your thoughts. Let me know what you think. Smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe today so you don't miss any other videos just like this one. And as we get into this video, I'd like to give a big thanks and shout out to Younger Volvo of Hagerstown, Maryland. I always enjoy coming to Volvo of Hagerstown. Today is no different. I am enjoying doing these cargo demonstrations in a owner style perspective. As I've said before, the first thing that I think of being a dad when it comes to car shopping and when it comes to getting in and out of a vehicle is how easy is it to get a car seat in and out of the vehicle I'm looking at? Well, we're gonna find out with the XC60. What I'm gonna do is put the car seat on the driver's side behind the driver's seat and we're gonna fold down the bigger portion of the seat. That way we can get a fully amplified view of the cargo capacity. Right here, we'll notice under these clips are the car seat hookups for our base. Clip it on, pull it nice and snug again so we can make sure that it's secure and not going to go anywhere. And you can see that that is very firm, not going to go anywhere. Then we want to take our seat belt, put it through these slots, pull it nice and snug, and buckle there followed by pulling the seat belt all the way out and letting it retract. That way we have a nice, safe, secure base. As usual, I'm gonna go ahead and put this driver's seat in a position that is comfortable for me. This is a Baby Trend car seat, specifically designed for traveling and cargo type use, passport seasons, all terrain. And this is my daughter's car seat, infant car seat. Very good car seat so far, no complaints. With that driver's seat in my comfortable position for driving, you can see we still have room to spare even after the base and the car seat are firmly secure. Now that our car seat is secure, we'll fold down this portion of the seat. The way that I would load this as an owner of this vehicle, if I owned this vehicle and was going on a trip, I would put in my crate first for my little dog. My wife and I have a Shizu and his name is Elvis and he's starting to outgrow this crate now, which is why I was able to bring it today. Now that he's trained, we don't really need this crate at home, but what I can say is that on a road trip, Chances are we're gonna need this crate. This is a good sized crate and it fits perfectly here in the XC60. Notice with it loaded, I have the door facing out. That way, if we stopped for say a bathroom break or a lunch break along the road trip, we can easily let Elvis out to go to the bathroom, have a little break to stretch our legs. Next up, let's go ahead and take our suitcases and let's put those in. I'm gonna actually put these just like this standing up got another one here as i've mentioned before my wife is a very talented musician she plays the violin beautifully oftentimes we'll find ourselves carrying her instruments along so it is important for us that we have the space to carry the instruments along with luggage our baby and also our pet the next thing I've got in place is my tool bag that I keep in my personal car in case I needed any extra tools along the road trip that we might be going on. I do keep this in my car on a daily basis though, so that's one of the things that's important for me to have space for. Another thing I like to keep in my car is automotive detailing supplies, just in case we get somewhere and I need to have some extra supplies to give the car a good cleaning. From time to time, if you're a homeowner, you'll know that you have to stop by Lowe's or Home Depot 
to get something like this, a two by four, maybe just a single piece of wood, but it is something that the XC60 can handle in stride. Something that a vehicle is commonly used for is a grocery getter. Oftentimes people will have vehicles specifically designed for grocery getting. Here we've got our ginger ale and we've got our 35 pack of water. Looking good so far. Every homeowner needs to have plenty of these on hand. Box of light bulbs. You're not always gonna carry this in your car, but a good test to show you that it's just another thing that the XC60 can carry. For those home improvement projects, don't forget your step ladder. It's a good idea to keep some extra washer fluid on hand as well. I always do that in my car. And then lastly, we have our stroller. I put this in last because Chances are, if you stop along your road trip or you're out and about every day, you're gonna need this easily accessible and make sure that things aren't blocking it. With a little bit of rearranging, you can see that everything fits in the XC60 perfectly. I am noticing after doing a cargo demo on the V90 and then doing one on the XC60 here, something that the V90 has as a really great strength is the length. This right here is a little shorter. I'm noticing that things are a little bit tighter inside of it, but you guys can see all of this random stuff that could apply to daily driving, road trip, grocery shopping, home improvement shopping, whatever it may be. The XC60 is still a great option with plenty of cargo capacity to handle your everyday needs. Let's shut down the hatch. Now you know, in case you didn't already, the Volvo XC60 is more than capable for road trips, daily driving, and pretty much anything within reason that you need to haul in it. It's safe for the family, functional for the family, and it's a great choice if you're looking for something that has a little bit more cargo space than just your average car on the market. Again, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to comment your thoughts on the video, smash that thumbs up button, Subscribe today so you don't miss any more videos just like this one. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks so much again for watching.